Hi, I'm Ben Nielsen, the tech support representative at Nielsen Kellerman Company, and I'm here to give you a quick demonstration on how to use the crosswind headwind feature in the Kestrel 4500. The Kestrel 4500 has a compass in, built inside of it and uses a heading feature which is preset by the user to um, calculate from the law of cosines the uh, crosswind and headwind components of the main wind value. Why do you use that, you ask? Generally speaking, most ballistic softwares only ask for the wind component and the wind direction. They will calculate the crosswind, headwind, and all of the firing solutions from that. But if you're using a ballistics card or something like that, then you may uh, be more inclined to try and use crosswind, headwind. You have to use the set heading feature before trying to utilize the crosswind headwind. You can manually set that or auto set that. When you're on either the crosswind or headwind screen, you press the center button to set the heading. You can physically change the direction by using the right and left arrows, or you can use the capture feature, the auto set. And what you do in that case, it, if the wind was coming from this direction, but my direction of fire was off in that direction, then I would point the kestrel so that the back is facing my target and then I would use the uh, capture feature and then I would turn so that the wind is going directly through the impeller and then I would see the crosswind value or the headwind value whatever it may be. Uh, you can just scroll to the crosswind screen or the headwind screen as you like. I hope that helps clarify things a little bit. If you have any other questions, please feel free to give me a call, 610-447-1555, and dial the tech support extension, or you can shoot me an email at techsupport at nkhome.com. Thanks very much.